two, three. Sri Lanka! Oh, oh, wait a s we were, we didn't we leave there? Yeah, I thought we were not in Sri Lanka. Oh, okay, let's do this again. Okay, okay let's try this again. Okay. One, One, two, two three. three. Thailand! Th Thai Thailand. We left there, Gee, I, right? Yeah, I'm pretty oh. sure we're, we're not, not there. We're not in Thailand? Don't no. see any monks here. Okay, but, okay, one more time. Okay. Okay, best of three. Yeah, ready? One, two, two, three. three. Mexico! Okay, bienvenidos a Mexico. Buenos dias. Now we can start dropping some Spanish lingo. Uh, I just thought I'd bring you guys on a little walk with the with the pups. Pups, plural. It's not just one. You met one. There's a couple more. Three more. Yeah, it's about 6:30 in the morning here. Beautiful sunrise. This is kind of the spot I I take them all around this big farmer's field. He's not mine, I don't know. He just belongs here, but he's our buddy. He's our little backer over there. Guys, welcome. Um, I'm really happy that we're able to drop that secret, let it out. It's off, the weight's off the shoulders. Um, we're excited to bring you some videos to, or from Mexico. Well, we're in Puerto Vallarta. I should probably tell you where we are. We're in Puerto Vallarta region in the area, the Bay of Banderas. So I think a few of you have mentioned that you've been to this side. It's super beautiful. We have never been here before. We chose this location. We told you why we chose Mexico. It was the only country that was open during that time. Well, there was a couple other places, but places that people would want to go. Uh, Costa Rica was another one. We almost, that was our first option, but they got a little bit wishy-washy with some rules at the end. So Mexico just stayed consistent. So we opted for Mexico. And this location in particular, because the whole country was an unknown to Jazz and I. Like we'd, other than some spring break trips way, way back in the day, we, you know, nobody remembers those. I, we couldn't tell you anything about Mexico. So we knew another family, Kelly and G, that were here. So we just said, let's, let's just go. Let's go where, where we know somebody. And we haven't left uh, this, this area. We went for a two-week trip last November to visit home in Alberta, to visit Jazz's family. My dad flew out from Ontario to see us because it was the first time we had seen him in six years. He never even, he hadn't even met Lake yet. So it was fantastic that Lake got to see him for the first time and she, she goes up to him, she's like, Grandpa Kevin, this is what I look like. This is what I look like. <laughs> So it was really great, but then it also made us realize how much this feels like home and how like by returning back here and roots have sunk in a little deeper than we may have anticipated. And this is the longest place we've ever been, ever been since we've had kids in the last seven years, seven and a half years. So also there's other reasons why we always debated in our heads being in Southeast Asia. We wanted our kids to learn another language. Spanish was always our number one, so we always thought, what about if we made a move back to the Latin American region, where that would have been, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Mexico, whatever, but we wanted Spanish to be a part of their life. Now they have that. It was direct flights from Calgary, Edmonton. It's just like a straight beeline here. It's so amazing when you don't have to do that overhaul in the, 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 the Pacific there, when you, like, there's no layover. Like we just arrived here and we're like, wait, this isn't Taiwan or Hong Kong. This, we've, we've, this has only been four hours and we're here. Like, no stops. Just grab your stuff and go. That's, that's like unheard of for us. So it was, that was kind of nice. And proximity to home for Jazz was, was kind of important too, which is a bonus. I think that was all. And we stayed, we, we lived when we first got here for a year in a gated community, as most people do. After that, we accumulated a few furry friends and our space became a little smaller, more condensed, so we decided to step out of the gates, as we always say to people, that, or advise people to do, and we found a little piece of land, and it's perfect, it's great. Cubby! Cub, cub! Oh, there's Cubby! He's always, oh, go get him! There they go. He's like, oh no, oh no, they're gonna get me! <laughs> I wanted to touch on something with you guys uh, before we go into any more videos and any more, uh, future vlogs and because it's, it's a question that's popping up quite a bit 
uh, where is Jazz? Where are the girls? And how come we're not, we haven't? They, where have they been? We want to see them. Fair enough. But there's going to be a, a. I said some changes in the videos going forward, and one of the you might want to sit down for this one. One of the biggest changes going forward is that the ladies are going to be in the videos a lot less. Going forward, we want to have the girls in the limelight so much the way that they were. This channel was based upon sort of a traveling family, and it, it, it was, but it sort of evolved, and it seemed like our kids became center stage, where the camera was just in their face all the time. They're older now, more mature, they understand how this works and what this is all about, and I want their lives to not be bombarded with this. Does that mean that they won't ever be in videos? No, not never. Uh, it'll just be done more tastefully. They'll be more sporadic. Maybe you'll hear their voices. Maybe you'll see their hands if they're doing something or a, the backs of their heads or from afar. But the idea of my kids in the limelight, the way it was, is not going to be that way anymore. I want this to be as organic and authentic as possible. And in putting a camera in a kid's face, I'm sure you guys know with your kids, everybody behaves differently, even yourselves, even an adult. Even when I have this camera on me, it's, an, it's a different feeling that comes over you. So I don't want that to be, I just, I want it to accompany our life, not bombard our lives. Another change coming with the vlog, as far as the content, so it's because it's not gonna just be my kids all day long, it's still gonna be a part of our lifestyle. There'll still be the odd day in the life, uh, adventures that we may take around, showing you guys Mexico, but it's also going to share other stories, not just our story, other families and how they did it and why they've moved here through interviews, through webinars. I just like sharing stories because I think stories are gripping. I think it's what motivates and inspires people. You guys have amazing stories. I've heard some of your stories in the last few years of the, of the trips that you guys have been on. I want to do tips and hacks, how other people can also live this life if they so choose to. I also want to do street interviews. So take the camera around to the streets of the towns and just go up to people and, and, and ask them some questions. I think it's really raw. I, th I, I like watching that. I want to do the same thing. So there may be a name change of the channel at some point. I don't know. We have a few ideas, but I just don't think it's going to be Georgia, our curious Georgia. But, but that's not happening at the moment. So, oh, frequency. So normally you guys were used to videos coming out weekly, a 15 to 20 minute video on average every week. I want to do less volume, more frequency. So I want to get, aim the videos to be around the five minute to, to 10 minute mark. 10 minute max, but aim for the five minute mark. And by doing that, I'm hoping to pump them out more frequently. So maybe a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm not giving dates or, or exact times because this is all evolving. This is what I hope and what I want to happen. But I think that'll be a lot more manageable for myself is to, is to pump them out a little bit more throughout the week. I think that's all. This camera, it's been a while and it's, it's heavier than I remember. This lens is different. It's, a, it's not the same lens I used in our older vlogs. It's a wide angle. Okay, so as, as I make my final descend on our way back home, I just want to say it feels really good to get the, the cat out of the bag, the monkey off the back, some other animal out of something. Uh, the secret's out, that you guys know where we are, know where we've been. Moving forward, we're going to be really transparent, upfront with everything. Uh, no more cliffhangers, right? You guys always have, well, you've said, and it's true, it's mean. It's, guys, you, you're, Sean, you're making us wait a whole nother week for this big suspenseful bomb to be dropped, and it's not right, it's cruel. It's downright cruel, I agree. So going forward, um, I just wanna let you guys know that we started a new business. We're no longer vegan and we had another kid. <laughs> what do you know? I gotta go.